John 1, 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now listen to that. In the beginning was the Word. Did God create the Word? No. No. If wisdom was created in the Proverbs, the Word wasn't created. It just was with God. That's kind of an important distinction, right? It's not, a, it's not a thing that's made. The word is a coexistent part of everything from before time, right? And, and that, that may sound technical. We'll get to some technical things next week about incarnation. I don't want to get too technical, but I do want to notice that two things may be going on here. One is the word is better than wisdom. The word is pre-existent to wisdom. The word is God as, as it gets put here. Wisdom is a product of God. Right? But two, the language sounds kind of like the language of Proverbs about wisdom. And, and I, for that, I want to I do an imagination process with you. Because you and I sit 20 centuries after all this. We sit in a, in a sort of culture that has been Christianized for 1700 years, right? We live in that legacy. So it's not that freakish for us to think about a God becoming human, right? But it certainly was for them. We talked last week even about a little of this, but, but there were Greek myths, but the Jews certainly distinguished themselves from those mythological stories of Athena taking on flesh for a while in order to help win a war and then come back onto Olympus. Uh, onto Olympia. Um, this is in the Jewish world, there's God and then there's everything else. And the us is all sort of God's counsel, which by the way, we mentioned last week, the heavenly host who came and visited the, the shepherds, right? That probably was part of that counsel in the way that uh, pro, uh, the way that Genesis one imagined, right? Let us make humanity in our image probably had wisdom in, in the room and, and the angels that made up the heavenly host. But this, the people who first met Jesus didn't have experience with a God becoming flesh idea. They'd heard about Messiah, which was going to be kind of like David in their view. They'd heard about wisdom, which is this kind of nice uh, part of God's way of doing things in the world. They had some raw materials, but they didn't have a way to get their head around. What does it look like when God becomes flesh? And the other thing about it is they didn't work from, okay, we're looking for God in flesh. We're looking for God in flesh. Oh, that looks like God in flesh. It's the other way around. They experienced Jesus, and then they tried to figure him out. Do you understand that difference? They started with Jesus, and then they used the raw materials they had, one of which was the Proverbs picture of wisdom, to ask, hey, does this one kind of grab that piece of, of what we think is amazing or awesome? And, and they, they kind of, he was a horse bird fish. He didn't fit any categories. And so they brought all the categories they have. Notice how close wisdom is to one. Right? Because in the Greek world, reason, the word logos, which is translated word here, also could have been translated reason, the order of things. And in a way, the wisdom of things. So I don't want to linger all, a long time on this, but notice how they're using what they can to try to understand what they can't understand, which is this guy is different than the rest of us. We've never seen anything like this guy. Matthew and Luke did that by going back to the birth. John doesn't have the birth. John just asks, what is this? And says, this is the word that was co-equal to God from the beginning of, of time, right? From before time. 